Hey guys, I'm John with Hops and Brews, and do you know who you are? Because I'm the dude, playing a dude, disguised as another dude. So today, thanks to the courteous people over at Stone, we're going to be trying Stone's Tropic of Thunder Lager. This beer comes in at 5.8% ABV, a 58 IBUs. It gets an average rating on untapped of 3.60. Imagine you set sail for a three hour tour. Let's say for the uh, Port of Escondido. Yeah, that works for here. The weather starts getting rough. Your tiny ship, but not lunch thankfully, was tossed. Long story short, you're marooned on a remote island somewhere near the Tropic of Thunder. The good news is there, the captain of the SS Stone and her brewing kit were among the small cast of colorful characters that survived the rough voyage with you. Mainstays, Citra and Mosaic, along with newcomer Cashmere Hops, are joined by their juicy tropical aroma of citrus, pineapple, and coconut. Try stringing all those together in a catchy tune. The rescue ship will find you all soon enough. For now, set aside the non-working cell phone and lack of social media. Again, work with us here. Kick back and revel in the moment of Tropic Island Lagoon Serenity. Alright, so let's check this beer out. Uh, it's a lager. It's appealing looking. It's not as clean and crisp as a lot of lagers I know. Uh, this is a hop lager, so I'm betting that's probably where a little bit of the cloudiness is. I can see through the glass very easily, but not much further than my hand. Ooh, you get a lot of citrus, um, kind of peely, like a, kind of like a, a grapefruit peel. Very grapefruit peely, some grass notes, um, very much that citra and mosaic. You get a hint of that. It's not IPA level, a little bit of malt. It smells more like a, 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 a citrusy pilsner, if that makes sense. When Stone said they were sending a lager over, I was like, oh, this is going to be like an IPL. Huh. Well, that's different. Oh, wow, that's weird. Weird. So the aroma hits you with this very grapefruity, peely notes. And then you drink it, and that first initial taste is like, wow, oh, this is not bad. And then this middle part kicks in, and it's starting to turn toward that lager-esque. Very light lager, not, not fully, like, cornflaky type thing. And, and there's a little hop lingering now, but not like a... Uh, India Pale Lager, so it's, it's not super hoppy, but you know there's enough there. Almost kind of like a shandy, too. This is very easily crushable. This is a very good summer beverage. It doesn't taste like a simple lager just thrown out there with some hops in there. The flavors don't just hit you and pop into you. They glide. They surf into your mouth up and down like that, and they just kind of do this in your mouth as you're getting a high and a low and another one comes up. That's kind of what I'm getting. So we're at the end of this beer review of Stone's Tropic Thunder, I mean Tropic of Thunder uh, Lager. It's very appealing. I think this beer really hits three characteristics of beer drinks. I think it's going to hit the lager people. I think it's going to hit the IPA people that are looking for something just a little bit lighter to drink, kind of it within that sessionable IPA range. And I think it's going to drink that person that's just like, look, dude, I like domestics and I just, I'm at a barbecue. I just want to drink something. Is this the greatest lager I've ever had? No, but I don't think it's trying to be the greatest lager. I think it's just trying to be a good beverage for the summertime. And I think it hits that mark pretty well. What? What, I'm going off script? Dude, I don't read the script. The script reads me. Anyways. So, unfortunately, I don't know the price of this beer. But I'm guessing that if it's under $10 a six-pack, it's probably a decent buy to get for an next barbecue. Or if you're just looking for something a little bit lighter to drink. That's not just super hot bomb the summertime. If you're trying to get away from those hazy IPAs or a big stout and you're just looking for something to crush and to drink and you're looking for that everyday drinker you just need to have, this is actually probably going to do you pretty well. I'm betting this will pair very well with like a burger, some, some form of beef and heat. This 
is a little bit heavier for a lawnmower beer, but it tastes like a lawnmower beer. So, I recommend going to pick it up, but I don't recommend having the expectation that this is the world's greatest lager. And it doesn't really hit that stone-esque, I'm gonna overhop everything. Actually, for stone, this is pretty mild. It's smooth, it's balanced, it's riding a wave of flavors, and they all seem to complement each other. It's pretty nice. It's like having TiVo in your contract. It's just nice to have. Cheers, guys. Hey guys, if you like this video, hit like and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, Untap, Twitter, Facebook, all the big social media stuff. Yeah, the links for those will be in the description below. If you like this video, leave a comment or two and tell me what you thought about it. Tell me what you didn't like about it. I actually like reading all the comments. Uh, I usually try to respond very fast. See you guys later.